Good evening, everyone. It's Tom Sidney Bushnell, aka Numbers, here from Site Club, from the Tom Numbers Show, news of Tom Numbers on top of your game. And back by popular demand, it's Carol, Carol Maureen Friesen. She was here with me less than a week ago, but the show proved so popular. So many people put wonderful things in the comments. And you told me something special about today's date, April 11th, Maureen. So I thought, well, why not? Let's do another show. So welcome back. Oh, thank you. Well, it is a red, self-existing Skywalker day. So uh, this happens every once every, uh, yeah, 260 uh, day cycle. Because like, remember the last show I talked about cycles within cycles. And it just happens to be your day. And when I was glancing through the days and i said oh tom's day is on uh thursday so yeah that's is it every 260 days or every 260 years no days yeah and right. then it starts it starts over again like it starts uh with a dragon magnetic dragon again and then it uh mm -hmm. yeah it but uh yeah there's there's so many it's like a swiss clock you know you got all these yeah. wheels within wheels that's how we evolve right yeah instead of a flat plane so, so today is a is a red Skywalker day. Is that right? Or is it how do we describe it? Self-existing Skywalker day. It's the the tone is okay. yours and also the seal. And uh yeah, there's uh two types of Mayan calendars. One is sort of the underworlds in which the ancients use, and then uh Huli Agri I can never say his name, Agrelius. Uh, did the galactic and he put out like a massive amount of work on this and uh, it all rings true so it's uh, it's whatever people take of it it's same as astrology or um, yeah. I, I talked about you know psychosomatically first of all the body and then the next level up is looking at our energy fields um, and then our astrology and then uh, numerology and then above that would be uh, human design, left brain function, and galactic signature blueprint is our right brain function, which is our creative side. And so we, you know, here again, like I say, we all, we're all making up a fairy tale. We might as well make up a good one. And yeah. it's a pathway. There's many pathways. And uh, it's a tool we can use. And it's so fleshed out. And I think, did you get to read some of your five or six pages I sent? I just had a quick glance at them. I've been so running around, but um, I did have people comment about Red Skywalker or Red Existent Skywalker. Is that how we say it? I just remember self-existing Red Skywalker. So I remembered Red Skywalker, um, but I do have the notes and I, I do need to go through them, but I had a quick, just a quick glance at them. Um, were there particular things you wanted me to look at in there? Well, I sent you your uh, the whole file on the archetypes too, and you just uh, I wouldn't read the archetypes first. I would read the uh, the five or six pages I sent, okay. and uh, just skim skim through it, see if it it resonates, and then uh, like my and it took me a year after getting mine that I kind of really took it seriously and really started uh, looking at the energies of each day and resonating like this morning i i actually posted uh the red skywalker or self-existing skywalker on my story on on facebook uh, uh -huh. and i used to do that every day and read it and then you you synchronize everything yeah. starts to synchronize it's amazing what comes through because we're using um the cycles according to nature and so uh, we look at the energy of the day and we, you know, especially if it's a Skywalker day, you're even closer to that energy. I just connect with the energy, right? Yeah. And uh, yeah, you can find your families within there, other Skywalkers and then other tones and you start mm -hmm. to see the similarities. So it's, it's amazing. It really is amazing. And the way I've done Trump, I mean, I can just see it so clearly who he yeah. is. And every the words he uses and everything, because he's a wizard and a magician, and he talks always about his magic wand. It does. It does. <laughs> yeah. It does. 
It's interesting you said about a Skywalker day, because Skywalker's 125 time travel, John Kennedy inversion for like directional flow of time, uh, dark to light is 125, but day is 30, so that takes you to 155, which would be the millennium singularity, but a Skywalker day is 156, which comes to Baron Trump, interestingly enough. And I saw a video today about Baron, and I think they're going to be using a lot of people have been aware of him and been, you know, a boy growing up. But now he's hit 18. It's like, I think they're ready to let him loose. So there was a proper that he did. He did, uh, he invited some big YouTubers, um, Patrick Beck David and a few others to, to Mar a Lago to have dinner with them because he's fans of their shows. And I was like, oh, this is very clever. They've got, they've got Baron working with these guys. And anyway, 156 is a Skywalker day. And I saw it come out today. So, um, yeah, interesting. And it's also 33, if you spell it 33. Um, and even if you spell 28, they say some, some people say that 28 is the, is the money number, the wealth number. Um, so it's interesting. Yeah. But a Skywalker what is, uh, sorry, a Skywalker day is 156. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 156. At six and six, right? Twelve, three. Yeah, I, I I always come down to the final number. Like we keep adding it down. And uh, yeah. actually, what I uh, what was today's number? One seven three. So it's an eleven, and that's double crown manifestation and creativity and confidence coming through for you. One seven three. Today's one seven three. It's you mentioned one seven three before, yeah. What? How do we get the one seven three for today? That's on the uh, um, the chart of the hundred uh, two hundred and sixty days. It's oh yeah, the hundred and seventy seventy uh, third day. And remember, I was telling you, Trump, uh, his okay. day is one o seven. But I always yeah. say one o one o seven. Like yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. quantum. That's it, 173, because 173 is Knights Templar. And between Kennedy and his birthday, if his birthday and his date of passing was on this, just all in one year, it's 173 days difference. So from uh, May 29th through to November 22nd, if that was just one year, um, then it's 173 days, which is Knights Templar, which I think makes sense, goes back to all the- When did he die? Wasn't it November? 22nd? November twenty-two, yeah, November twenty-second, yeah, which is also another thirty-three. So if you do eleven plus twenty-two, that's thirty-three. Thirty-three uh, spelled out in the alphanumeric way: A is one, B is two, C is three, the geometry way. That would be uh, one fifty-six, which is Baron Trump. And I've said for a while, I believe there's a big connection between JFK, Baron Trump. Tesla and Christ. I think there might have been a fifth one, but definitely those four. And um, if you do, if you do um, Baron William Trump, which is his full name, is it? Comes to, yeah, it comes with to the double R. Say with that the double again. R? With the double R. Yeah, yeah with the double R. Because double R is 68, which is Mar-a-Lago. And that's interesting because to that, well, that video came out about him being at Mar-a-Lago. I guess it was filmed a few days ago, but they they commented on it today. Um, and Wayne is, is Mar-a-Lago. I always think of Wayne's world, that connection with the character Bruce Wayne, Batman, yeah. Trump, Trump Tower, Wayne Tower, Wayne's world, Trump world. But and it, Trump actually did that on his NFTs. I did that ages ago with Charlie, about almost four years ago, and uh, he made the connection. And Trump put it on one of his NFTs, so it's it's great when he confirms the stuff that he's told us in the first place, and then it comes back around again. But so if you do, yeah, if you do Baron William, William is actually um, seventy nine, which is mother, which is nature. Uh, it's the dove as well. Um, but William, well, Baron William Trump comes to 235 in numbers, which comes to President 
uh, John Kennedy. So I've always thought there's there's a, a link there, there's a connection there. Um, What's his birthday? Barons. Baron? It just had his birthday, didn't he? Yeah. What? Let me check. What is his birthday? Let's have a look. Um, and he's six seven tall, so he's a big unit. He's tall, six foot seven. Yeah. So he, you know, he's the biggest character in all of the pictures. Yeah, I know. A lot yeah. of them are. Weak. Well, yeah. Eric's pretty tall too, but. Uh, well, Eric is, but I mean, and his dad's Eric's six four, same height as Abraham Lincoln in numbers. Abraham Lincoln's one twenty three. Eric Trump one twenty three. Lincoln is also 79, which is like William. Um, I wonder if Baron, I, that'd be interesting. We should look at that. We should look at Abraham Lincoln's chart and Eric Trump. Is there a connection? I think there is. Um, and Donald, President Trump is 6'3". Um, but Baron's, yeah, Baron is 6'7". Uh, right, so Baron Trump's birthday. Let's have a look. March 20th. So... Really? Yeah, just a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, March twentieth. What year? He turned eighteen. Two thousand and six. So. It was a World Cup year. Other people were born that oh, year. Yeah. Twentieth. Yeah. Um, it's uh, a red, red electric dragon. Is it? It's the primal force. Uh, yeah, and he's already enlightened. His first dimensional self is the yellow sun, so he's already enlightened. Uh, so he's come back as a master for sure. And uh, he's a white mirror, which is yogi. And then the primal force, and he's also got the blue monkey is what he desires to learn in this lifetime, which is the magician. And then he's got his higher self is uh, red serpent which is the kundalini, the life force, anchoring that. And electric, yeah, that's, which is an oh. 81. I know he's a 134 in numerology. And I was saying last uh, show that Trump's a 314, and so is uh, Junior. Okay. But uh, yeah, uh, Eric has really high numbers. He's a 2911. Same as Prince William is a two nine eleven. He's huh. double crown. He's the king. And so I would feel it. So was uh, Prince uh, Charles. I don't say King Charles. I just can't. And, yeah. And uh, he's also a two nine eleven. Huh. Yeah. I mean, it's just interesting. I haven't done them, and uh, well, I had done William because. Uh, Michelle Klein and I were going to do a show on William. He's still because she knows all his astrology, and I don't get too much into astrology. I leave that up to the people that understand it. And he's also what Prince William was also born on a uh, solstice. Yeah, yeah, and something else there with uh, and uh, solstice and a uh, uh, solar eclipse. The same time. I don't know if it was a blue moon. Trump was a blue moon for sure. Blue moon. Yeah, he was born on a uh, a blue moon. Blue moon. A blue moon. So what did you get? So I just did Baron's so Baron's birthday. So he's at March twentieth. That comes to um, one six seven in numbers, which spells the word. 24 we're in 2024 and his dad and his mum came down the escalators on the 167th day of the year to announce the presidency you know running for president that was five days before i met Ivanka. um so that's interesting that he's got that and then if you do if you do uh oh i wonder if he's that then so if you do um the 20th of March, that's 221, which is 1,000 years of peace, which is uh, the greatest showman. <coughs> Excuse me. Two, two, the greatest two, showman. 221? Mm -hmm. Oh, March, March spelled out. 20th is 221? Yeah, the, the, so the 20th of March is 221. If you just do March 20th, it's 167. 
Um, and Baron's, you know, six foot seven. Um, oh, really? Yeah, that's. <laughs> but also with that as well is so I wonder because it's like they've so he's got those time travel books named after him, and it talks about the last president. I haven't read the books, but today I was thinking about. I was like, I wonder if the I wonder if they're saying Baron will be the last president. I the last president that. is when they leave. The president leaves the uh, New York behind, and it's all in fire. I don't That's have it. the books, but uh, you can find it in the government archives and mm -hmm. also on, uh, what's the other one? Lockwald. Um, Ingersoll Lockwood, yeah. Lockwood, yeah, where the yeah. clocks are. We were looking at yeah. that you know, four years ago. Uh, I never did. I, I think I downloaded the books from government archives or some sort of archives. I don't get too many books and bring them into Costa Rica because, you know, things go moldy here. <laughs> yeah. Huh, this is interesting. So if I, if I spell, let me just check the spelling of this. Ingersoll Lockwood. So Ingersoll. Lockwood. People have been really watching that, that site because there was the clocks changing. And I mean, there's just so much out there. It's just hard to keep up. <laughs> There's a lot. There is a lot. Um, and still and still have a life. <laughs> yeah. Well, today I felt like I had a bit of more of a life today. Um, I mean, I I still was doing my job, but uh, um, this is peculiar. Ingersoll Lockwood. Ingersoll. Oh, look, I N. G E R S O L L. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So mm, it is. So Ingersoll Lockwood comes to 209, which comes to Empire State Building. Hmm. But Lock Ingersoll is one one one, which is New York. Interesting. Anyway, okay. That's interesting. Yeah, I should. Be, I should be ordering them. I should order them at some point. I should order those books. Um. Yeah. Okay. So and there's a lot do... in there. There's about tunnels and going down this rabbit hole. I think it's in yeah. Russia. And yeah. to me, that would be almost like where the Schumann resonance is. Uh, yeah, I mean, and also where the noosphere comes in. The what? The noosphere? Noosphere. We've got a biosphere. And the noosphere is what we're working towards. I should have brought up a picture, but I don't have it. It's uh, How do you spell that? Is that like no knowledge sphere? No, no, no N-O-O-S-P-H. Huh. And then sphere, no a sphere. So it's what's that? N N O O. It is our the the uh, energy field of uh, the planet. So it's like we have a flux tube. Whether I don't know if it's a globe or just whatever our reality is, it is what it is. Uh -huh. And um, the transmitter is down below, which is from they say the South Pole, but the bottom part. And then it's just, it's like a troidal field. And as we balance our own chakras, we have receivers and transmitters. The transmitter is from the base, the life force coming through into um, the crown chakra, basically. And um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a rainbow bridge, really. Huh. The rainbow bridge that... Um, we have to create within our, our own energy field. And as everyone creates that energy field within themselves, then it can create it on earth. Mm. It's interesting you said about there's Russia, there's part of Russia in that book or those books, because Lockwood is 98 in numbers. Nine plus eight is Q. It's the first, one of the first numbers I discovered with Diana funeral at 9.08 in the morning. But nine eight uh ninety eight Lockwood comes to Romanov. Um 
And a lot of people say that Melania is a Romanoff, and so it's like, ah, oh, okay. So that's interesting how that... So it's, it's almost saying, Ingersoll Lockwood is almost saying Romanoff, New York. That's what it's pointing at. Um, interesting. All right, so you've done some charts. Oh. You've, you, you've, you've mapped out a few characters on the board. Uh, yeah. Carol. Yeah. Who did you want to share first? Who have you I'm done? Thinking. You've you've done. I did the Queen of England. She's We're... a two five. Yeah, she's a two five seven. That's uh, can't tell a two five seven anything. That's what I usually say. And yeah. just for your audience, so they can do their own. There, I yeah. mean, this information is all out there. Uh, the charts are all out there on my uh, um. On my Telegram channel, which is the Lightworkers Institute, uh -huh. uh, right at pinned at the top is actually the link that they can put their birthday in. It takes them to a website, which is Astro, forget what it's called, Astro. Something. Oh, they can do their own. Okay. They can yeah. do their own and they can pull up, just put in your birth date and it'll come up with all 260 of them and whatever they are, they just click on. And there will be five or six pages. It depends on uh, what yeah. uh, seal they are and what tone and how much okay. information. Or they can get the, I, I use an app like uh, on my phone and it's uh, 1320 sync, S-Y-N-C. So you synchronize because okay. we want to get into the synchronic meter, it's called. Once you get into those energy fields, then you can synchronize with um, with the circadian rhythms and the and the rhythms of the universe. So okay. the more you can get into it, the more you'll find everything just starts to f fall into place. Like I say, that's what brought me to Costa Rica, to yeah. this particular land. And um, yeah, so what some significant things you found out about today with uh, April eleventh, and you said it's. Um... It's to do with the the Red Skywalker. But what be some of the things? Because there'll be other people watching that have got the same. Yeah, well, it is an myself. activation day. Not everyone yeah. is, a, is a portal. That depends on where you are on the uh, on the chart, the 260-day chart. If okay. I can share the screen, I can pull it up and show you. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. Just because that is. Uh... Can I share screen? You can, yeah. Okay. Why does it Wait. say leave meeting allow? Uh, what does that say? From my end, I can see uh, you're yeah, staring okay. screen, so something yeah. you're in. There we go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so it's like a is, uh, snakes and ladders board or a, or yeah. a table. Yeah. And this has, um, the, these are all the seals. There's 20 of them. And then there's uh, 13 tones. So where you are on the chart would be uh, 173. So you are right here. Nice Templar. What, yeah. so what is a seal in this regard and what is a, Tome, um, Carol. How do we? What? What, what are yeah. they? Well, it's characteristics or or levels. It we because we're humans, we need to. Uh, we can't just say uh, you know vibration three five six nine. It means nothing to someone. So if you can relate it to something like mm. Archangel Michael or uh, Buddha energy or Christ energy. So this, the Mayans uh, charts are using uh, different energies, but they give it a seal, what they call a seal. And it's all corresponds with the fingers and the toes, which is 20. We have 10 fingers, 10 toes. Those are the seals. And then we said on the last show, we have 13 joints. So, uh, and the oh, 13th yeah. be, yeah. being the neck, right? So, uh so you're 173 and you are a portal. So all these green ones are, there's 52 portal days. And that just means that there's just that much more activation. 
uh, during a portal. So yours is all about, uh, let's see, I'll pull up another screen here. Um, if I go into this screen and, you know, I've got about 13 books on this, you know, thick books on, on all this different stuff, but it's all available on the internet too. And uh, self-existing, meaning uh, manifest your dreams, give your ideas uh, discipline and form. So that would be self-existing, right? Just to give mm. it more energy. Of course, it's a longer version in what you're going to be reading uh, in those five pages that uh, mm. that I sent you the link to. So, so these are all the portal days, these green ones. Uh, Trump is also a portal day right here. He's 107, 107 right here. So these are things to look at. When the portal days comes in, that means there's more energy to come in and you can be very aware of what you're downloading today and manifesting. Mm -hmm. So it's to do with creating <laughs> dreams and discipline and form. Yeah. Mm. So... Here's what I sent you would have been um, all the archetypes. And I sent you this whole file uh, just because I didn't break them out. And you are a Skywalker, which is, I forget, there you are, the prophet. Number 13 is your, and I have people read these out loud and start owning them. And this is who you can be if you want. I mean, these, you've got the plates. Huh. The plates. Can you read it? You want to read it out loud? Owner? It's a bit you if you you can I can't it's too it's too small for me to read. Um I'm just doing this on my phone, but you're welcome to oh, read it okay. with us if you want to. Okay, thirteen prophet. I am the prophet coded by the red skywalker. Thirteen is my number, the wave spell of creation. Many times in many worlds have I known, for I am the agent of universal time, exploring space with all abiding wakefulness. I am the colonizer of lost worlds, the galactic navigator of time, the all-seeing eye of the fifth force, anoints my brow. In my right hand, I hold the book of the law of time, a gift from the star family. In my left hand, I hold the galactic compass, the the uh, Syrian wheel, the compodium of the uh, prophetic, prophetic way. <laughs> Prophecy is a natural law, a function of time. My shirt bears the two sacred numbers, 13 and 20, crossing the barriers of time and space. I am crowned by the sign of infinite cycles of time. To know me is to know the prophecy of time within the promise of coming dawn. Wow. So that might, might only mean something to you. I mean, that's, and the more you read it, mm. the more you, you, I mean, you are bringing a different, you're, bringing in the numbers and uh getting because to me it's all spiritual mathematics mm. and uh so that's uh you've got that book the law of time mm. and time is numbers right so spiritual is 125 which is skywalker 125 mm. i don't know what this bmu is that's 315 whatever that means B M U. That's fifteen, sixteen, thirty-six. Huh, I know what that is. <laughs> what is it? I know what that is. Uh, uh, I know what that is. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um 
Yeah, let me, I'll just double check that. Yeah, 36, at 315. Yeah, I know what that is. So, <laughs> B, M, U, B is two, second letter of the alphabet. Thirteenth letter of the alphabet is M. Um, I've got M obviously in the middle of my name, Thomas. And then U, I've got that in my last name. Well, I've got B at the beginning of my last name and then U, the second in the letter in the last name. So B, M, U. That comes to 36, comes to real. Um, and on my Twitter handle, real Tom numbers, which is 176, oh. Back to the Future, November the 5th. Trump's got a real Twitter handle. Pat Cash, my tennis friend, he's got a real Twitter handle. Um, but if 315, so if you do real 36 plus 315, it comes to 351. And if you add up every single letter in the alphabet, so A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, mm -hmm. all the way through to the 26th letter, Z or Z, you add them all up, it comes to 351, which comes to the phrase, God communicates through numbers 351. So that's interesting that that's there. Yeah. That's well, really... numbers are sacred geometry. I mean, it's... Yeah, they are. Yeah, I did I did the numbers on sacred geometry today, actually. Sacred is 50. Uh, Donald, Paul, Eileen, America, uh, fight, uh, Utah, uh, geometry. I forgot what, so let me... G. Oh, I know what it is. Yeah. Um, yeah. So geometry is uh, hang on. Give me a second. No, G E O M T R Y. Hang on. I think I'm spelling this wrong. How do we spell geometry? G O M. G E O M. Yeah, E T O. Yeah, yeah. No, that's right. Yeah. So geometry. Yeah. So geometry is a hundred and eight, uh, which comes to Fitzgerald. So JFK's middle name. Um, in the Tenet film that talks about time travel being inverted and going backwards to accomplish certain tasks they talk about a twilight world they say we live in a twilight world twilight is 108 um but sacred geometry is 158 which comes to remember remember so remember remember, remember remember november yeah comes to sacred ge geometry the 5th of november and i think mm -hmm. around the world there's sacred geometry that points to that date but i definitely think the way that Westminster is set up with Big Ben, the Houses of Parliament, the big millennial Q wheel, the River Thames, all of that adds up. And yeah, the sacred geometry in in that, I think. Yeah. The sacred geometry is 158. Children of Israel, 158. Yeah. Wow. Mm. What I brought up here is, I yeah. Met her, she popped up in her time machine probably when she came and said hello before it all started. Yeah. 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 Do you have her book also in Paris, the one that? Uh... No, I I've seen it. Someone I uh, met showed me their copy of it, so I've I've uh, I've read it because it's not it's quite quick to read. It's not many, you know, it's yeah. not a lot of writing. So I've read it, but that was a couple of years ago. Um, I don't have that actual book, but I have physically held it and read it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we got all the pictures, you know, comparing like she's wearing exactly the same clothes in the book, and it, yeah. yeah it's the only bizarre. difference is she's a she's blonde, and the girl in the book is brunette. That's the only difference. It's, it the, was him. The locations are the same. The jacket yeah. is the same. The boots, the gloves, it's all the same except for <laughs> she's she's in the in the po in the picture she posted. She's blonde, and yeah. the girl in the book is is brunette. That's the only difference. Yeah. So what I brought up here quickly is just to show, because it was on my whatever shrunk down here, is this is the Gregorian calendar, which is completely out of balance and irregular months like 28, uh, 30, 31, 29. And that's mm. creating the static. And then this is the 13 moon calendars, which we use. 
and that's 364 days and then the one day out of time which is uh july 25th is the one day out of time and we celebrate culture and uh art that day that uh, how all of us are so different yet we're the same and to honor that day and then we start the cycle over again uh you know whatever cycle comes up the next cycle so i mean it's very complicated but uh even if you just uh get a touch of it it's very very interesting so you know so for strange you said that so calendar's 58 um ivanka's 58 we just literally just spoke about her if you do um if you do Julian calendar, it's 125, which is Skywalker. If you do the Julian calendar, it's 158, which is um, Remember, Remember, which is Sacred Geometry. And if you do the Gregorian, Gregorian is 94, which is John John, which is November, Ace of Spades. Um, but if you do the Gregorian calendar, it's 185, Book of Revelation, Donald John Trump, um world trade center um yeah that's so funny that's that happens with the numbers you were just talking about ivanka <laughs> and 158 and it's like oh well actually the julian calendar is 158 and julian calendar is 152125 which is which is um skywalker yeah um it's funny how that always happens so I was gonna, you know, we were gonna do start with the Queen, right? Queen of England. Yeah, so well, let, let, let's go. We've let's yeah. start on some other ones because she's gone now. So uh, we'll let other people well, dig into that one, but because time we've got, you've got some others. I think will be really juicy for the audience. Yeah. Um, Carol. Well, so. I just I'm not gonna go into it, but I was just gonna let you know she is a red resonant Skywalker. Okay. So, so what makes the the? There's no longer with her. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And so what determines the fifth dimensional self is the tone. So okay. you're you've got different tones. That's all. you've got different uh higher selves. Okay. So Philip's gone too. He was a white mirror, cosmic mirror. Yeah. They're all gone. They're all gone. Well Lady Lady Di, she's a blue solar well, storm. So let's do let's do Lady Diana. Let's do she Prince was born, Diana. yeah, July first, nineteen sixty one, yeah. and uh, so we add up July being seven, so seven plus one plus one plus nine plus six plus one equals twenty five. So two and five is in her personality numbers, which two is uh, heart chakra, which is uh, cooperation and balance, and five is the um, sacral chakra which is freedom through discipline and then seven is her soul ray and that's uh solar plex solar plex being uh uh trust and openness in the solar plexus and she's a blue solar storm so she's a world changer and mm. she's she's uh her second dimensional self that she walked that path many times was the enlightened one so she's the yellow sun enlightened one so it was just her remembering that and her first dimensional self in her blood was the high priestess which is the white wind her challenge her fourth dimensional self was the red moon which is the healer and then her higher self was the blue eagle which is the visionary so seeing the bigger picture. Huh, the, so, blue, yeah. the blue eagle comes to 103 in numbers, which comes to princess. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah. Well, Blue's she's... 40, there's 33, and then eagle is 30. So, yeah, the blue eagle is 103 princess. We're just... We're just yeah. skimming over them. We're not really, you know, I mean, when you dive into it all, that's when you get really deep. And we're, you know what, we'll do a few more and then we'll end with maybe Melania or Trump, whatever you want to do. Yeah, yeah, and I, yeah. can, I can run through quickly. I've done a little bit of their face splits and read their hands yeah. and their feet. And, yeah, you let's know, do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, Prince Charles, the, yeah. he's a 2-9-11. Two, two he was born November 14th. 48 
And so two nine is uh, cooperation and balance in the heart. Third eye, nine is the brow chakra. That's uh, uh, wisdom through integrity. Now, people don't have to live up to these numbers. This is just how they, the birth numbers come in. Yeah. And then uh, his soul ray is uh, double crown. It's uh, two ones or 11, which is double crown. Because it's crown chakra. And mm -hmm. that's uh, creativity and confidence times two, which I don't think he really was ever allowed to even express. But mm. he, yeah. And his, he's a white lunar dog, which is the compassionate one. Huh. Yeah, he's, he's also what his fourth dimensional self is, uh, the yellow sun, which is the enlightened one. That would be his biggest challenge, but his greatest gift if he could achieve it. But he's got a lot of softness in his chart. He's got, you know, the healer, the red moon. And then his higher self is the white wind, which is the high priestess energy. Huh. So, um, yeah, and the white dog is the compassionate one. So, uh, you know, who knows? But William, William is the one I, that he is a 2911 also. He was born June 21st, 1962. Uh, and... So six plus two plus one plus one plus nine plus eight plus two is 29, which comes to 11 again, which is same as uh, Charles. And, Diana. Yeah. 229 spells Diana. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. He's uh, his galactic signature is a white resonant wizard. So he is a he's uh, got the wizard energy. It's also got Avatar, uh, the Red Serpent, Yellow Seed, so he can plant seeds. And his higher self is White uh, World Bridger, which is the Hierophant, which is the High Priest. I think we talked about that in the last show. And uh, on the uh, Salkan, he like on the 260 uh, chart, he is a he's 254, uh, 254. I thought that was interesting because that's 11 again, right? Well, and... that's September 11th. The 254th day of the year is September 11th. Oh, and wow. that, that narrow, narrow uh, Barazano Bridge comes to 254 as well. They had that incident just a couple of days ago in New York and yeah, the harbor. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, the 11 is, you know, it's two towers, right? Yeah. And uh, I think, I really think. She might have been induced also for him to be born on a solar eclipse. Yeah, they do. They plan and a solstice. I mean, I think Trudeau too. I mean, Margaret had him December twenty fifth. Yeah. Or Castro, whatever you want to call him. Prince Harry. Well, he's a uh, three five eight. Three and five is eight. So uh, throat chakra expression and sensitivity. Five being. Uh, Sacral chakra, freedom through discipline. And eight is power and abundance, but it's two chakras. It's solar plex and base. So eight is uh, is about the family, money, and power, which, you know, finding our power within ourselves. His galactic signature is a white self-existing dog. So he's also got the compassionate one. So, yeah, he's got a lot of, well, even though Charles probably isn't his father, right? <laughs> Who knows, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's uh, kind of the, you know, as it goes. And then I got a little bit of, you know, Kennedys. If, um, yeah, let's have a look at the Kennedys. Well, JFK. JF, JFK Sr. is uh, May 29th, 1917. Uh, he's uh, 34, which comes to seven. 34 is uh, throat chakra, oh. expression and sensitivity, and base chakra. Four is base chakra, which is process and stability. And when you say he, when you say he's a 34, where's that from? Um, Carol, he's 34 is Grace, yeah. DJT. They connected those two. So it's like we're in a leap year this year as well. Yeah, it's May 29th, 1917. Yeah. So five is May. 
and then yeah. 29 5 plus 2 not 2 oh okay 34 plus yeah. 9 yeah. Yeah. plus 1 plus 9 plus okay. 1 plus 7 that's how we get it and then uh i mean this is all in the life you were born to live by dan millman even if you just do somewhere. may but 5 plus 29 that's 34 isn't it yeah 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 yeah, that's all your numbers and Pythagorean yeah. numerology. And uh, and then Herman worked with him on on the chakras. Uh, and Kennedy was a white planetary world bridger. So I think you had world bridger in yours also, didn't you? Yeah, you uh -huh. had it in your second dimensional self. Okay. So yeah, he's, got that in, he's got that in his second dimensional self as well? No, he's it's in who he is now or who he's becoming. He's it's his third dimensional self. Okay. Yeah. He's got blue eagle in his first dimensional self, which is the seer, the visionary. And uh, maybe he could see things coming. And his second dimensional self is the red skywalker. So well the, the blue prophets. eagle the blue eagle comes to one oh three comes to Jack Kennedy. And then when you say he's red Skywalker, so Skywalker is 125, John Kennedy, and red is 27, which is JFK. Oh, really? Yes. So that makes sense. It's so, you know? hilarious. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. So he's the Hierophanid or the high priest, which would be, you know, um, very interesting. And then he is fourth dimensional self was the yellow warrior, which is the pathfinder. So he, so, you know, Trump, he's the red earth in his fourth dimensional self, which is the navigator. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe he's navigating us, right? We are in the fourth dimension because we're seeing all these veils lifting from uh, uh -huh. the third dimension to the fourth. And uh, the yellow warrior is the pathfinder. So JFK was the finding the path for us. And I believe Trump has followed in those footsteps. Mm. you know as somewhat and then uh his higher self was the white wizard again like the jfk so he's a wizard which is a good thing they they know the magic or how to use white magic wizards it's not a warlock mm. or a sorcerer uh the wizard is protecting the divine feminine and that's well, the, white, the white wizard yeah. is is um the New Jerusalem, and if you do, if you do the mothership, the New Jerusalem, that's three forty three, which is President John Fitzgerald Kennedy, and if you just do mothership, that's one thirty one John F Kennedy. Well, doesn't uh, the white dove of peace land over mm -hmm. North America, and yeah. the left, the left eye, at least in uh, the Keys of Enoch, the left eye of the eagle. Lands right over Washington D.C. Huh. One Washington Eye Club. He's one thirty-seven, <laughs> which is President JFK, seventeenth. Yeah, he says the One Eyed Club, right? Washington D.C. You know, yeah. they always cover that one eye, and it's usually the left, right? So it's the soul side. Interesting. That's I just you know we we always look at things. Hey, there's magic everywhere, and we just have mm -hmm. to see it. And we're starting to see, instead of seeing all the black magic, we have to start seeing the white magic that's going on all around us. And that is through the numbers and through all the divination tools and the, I call them breadcrumbs, that we're all given breadcrumbs and we just follow a pathway. Mm -hmm. And uh, it makes life exciting. Otherwise, that's... it's... <laughs> I mean, if we'd be still in that Monday... <laughs> Mondaine, Otherwise, it's uh, all dull, isn't it? It might as well pack and say cheerio. <laughs> Thanks for the memories. Yeah. Well, yeah, and have some fun with it. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's really important to have fun. So I did Jackie Kennedy. She's also a white, self-existing world bridger. I'm not going to go too much into her. She's a 3811 also. Uh, I didn't do all their... I can do relationship numbers and also galactic signature uh relationships uh you know that's all you know uh higher up things that mm. uh, i i think i did melania melania and trump i did i did theirs but um yeah so 3811 here again throat and solar plex and base and then double crown 
and JFK Jr. He's a two five seven also. So was uh, Diana, right? Lady Di. And so he's a twenty five, two and five, and then seven is his soul ray, and his galactic signature is a red crystal dragon, which is the primal force. His oh. um. Base chakra was the enlightened one. He's also a yellow sun. He's enlightened. <laughs> and uh, his sacral chakra is white mirror. So mirroring things back, all of mirrors. And his third dimensional self was the red dragon, the primal force. His fourth dimension, his heart ch chakra, is a uh, blue monkey, which is the magician working the magic. And his higher self, is uh the skywalker again the prophet so we see how it all plays out so red crystal is 125 john kennedy red crystal dragon dragon's 59 it takes you to 184 um fifth dimension or fourth density but the the red crystal dragon is 217 which is mission impossible Makes you think it's some of his Earth mission, you know, playing many characters. Huh. Well, a red was... crystal dragon is um is uh Donald John Trump as well. The red crystal dragon is two seventeen Mission Impossible, Lady Diana Francis Spencer. It's amazing how all their similar numbers always pop up for them and they overlap. Hmm. Well, we can think of the dragon family, or dragon is, uh, I think of Puff the Magic Dragon, lives by the yeah. sea. Yeah. And yeah. the dragon, what we call the dragon, is the diaphragm uh, in the body because mm -hmm. the diaphragm holds the fire back and uh, it keeps the maiden trapped in the cave, which would be the, the sacral chakra, our creativity. And it's a tight diaphragm in the body that uh doesn't allow the fire to come through until we explode or we breathe fire so huh. yeah, we can move that fire through the body through the diaphragm we should be breathing with our diaphragm right those are all yeah <laughs> uh, and carolyn Good. she's a 303 she was born Another January 303 huh. you're a th 303 bunker. aren't you yeah yeah, yeah the bunker's birthday Mm. I think Ivanka's a three zero three two. I don't. I I didn't do Ivanka because I have them in my book somewhere, and I haven't found that book yet. I had, you know, the whole uh, um, Trump family written out. January sixth, nineteen sixty six. Carolyn Bissett Kennedy was born. Three zero three. So throat expression times two with inner gifts of sensitivity. And she's a red galactic moon. So she's she's also um, her first dimensional self is the yellow human, which is the sage. The white dog is the compassionate one. That's she's walked that path many times. And I don't think they're dead though. I see pictures no. of them looking at their plane, and it's both of them. You can tell it's them. I have that picture. Yeah, I, I saw it this morning. I was deleting. I don't think any of them are dead. I don't think. I don't think Diana is, Carolyn and, and Junior. I don't even think John Senior is. I think he's I don't know, on a starship waiting to come down in the New Jerusalem or something. He's, you know, doing a Captain Kirk up there and will come down. Yeah, I don't think any I don't, of them are there. I don't think McAfee is dead either. No way. No, no. And uh, Epstein, I don't think they're dead. Yeah. Uh, so he, her second, third dimensional self is the red moon, the healer. And then her fourth is the blue storm, which is the world changer. And her higher self here again is the, the red Skywalker. So it comes up. Blue, red storm. Skywalker. <laughs> blue storm is, um, <laughs> is 125 Skywalker 125. And you just said both of them. And it's John yeah. Kennedy 125. <laughs> blue yeah, storm. it's all there. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, there's so much. I mean, it's just it's we can go on and on and on, right? So you've looked uh, at Trump and Melania's feet, hands, facial. Symmetry. I'll just give you uh, Roseanne Barr too, because I just oh yeah, Granny yeah. Rose, Roseanne, yeah. are you listening? 
Listen up, yeah, girl. Like, I love Roseanne. <laughs> uh, November 3rd. Well, I won't give her her birth date. Uh, anyway, she's uh, a 2 2 four. So two and two is four, but the two is heart chakra times That's two. That's the year we're in, oh, two, two, four. It's about time. She'll be saying, it's about time. She'll be screaming at you. Like. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's a double heart. And it's about cooperation and balance times two. And then four is base chakra process and stability, you know, in the base. But her uh, galactic signature blueprint is a blue galactic storm. So the storm is the world changer and it's the last one before the yellow sun. So the enlightened one. So they've come to change the world and the way of thinking. And her first dimensional self is the white wind, which is the high priestess. Mm -hmm. So she has a lot of uh, that, uh, that energy of uh, what do you want to call it? The uh, connection to the old religion was always the high priestess that, knew how to use the magic white magic huh. and her second dimensional self is she's walked that path many times it's about remembering she's the yellow sun she's the enlightened one she's already been enlightened and mm. she's coming back to change the world her third dimensional self is the blue storm which is the world changer and her fourth dimensional self is what she her biggest challenge but her greatest gift is the red moon which is the healer so she's probably you know she's healing through comedy also yeah. uh yeah and she's bridging a lot of gaps and her fifth dimensional self her higher self is the blue knight which is the dreamer so uh she just has to connect with the dream and move forward and we're we have a dr collective dream is what we we should be connecting with is our dream of oneness a collective mm. to the divine mind so yeah it's um uh, there's so much and and it's a beautiful i mean and if she is listening she can just google uh what was it uh blue galactic storm and it'll come out and give her all pages and uh yeah it's it's very easy to do and i say play with it and have some fun with it yeah and you you had Janine as well, didn't you? Yeah, Janine is a blue knight. She is, uh, I didn't do her numbers, but her, so five, six, 16, 18. Oh, she's a two, four, six, I think. Five, six, 16, 17, 18. Two, four, six, that's good numbers. 20, oh, she's the same as me. She's a two, four, uh, six, which is, uh that's vision yes and yeah and yeah. vision and the, the november the, the fifth of november mm. she's the christ consciousness ray also so yeah she's a blue knight she's got white mirror first dimension yellow warrior she's walked that path that's the pathfinder the blue knight is the dreamer and fourth dimensional self is the red skywalker which is the prophet again so this often he's a red reflect, skywalker as well mm -hmm. so often we br brought together to reflect from each other mm. and uh yeah and then her higher self she's times two so she her fifth dimensional self is also the blue knight or the dreamer so she's got it times two mm. So that's that collective dream and she brings it uh through the tarot cards right mm -hmm. and uh in a positive way yeah i mean it's i didn't i didn't realize she was a two four six she's the same as me in the twinkling of an eye 246 yeah <laughs> yes the 5th of november 246 <clears throat> yeah so Diana, you want to uh, run through you want to yes. run through Melania? Yeah, that's good. Do Melania and, and Donald, yeah. Well, I'm I'm I'll just run through parts of it, not through I've got, you know, a lot of slides that are okay. up on uh Rumble on the Lightworkers Institute on my own channel. And I go like an hour reading on them. So I'm just gonna run through, uh give people a taste of it. 
and we could always go deeper at some other time if you wanted to, but okay. uh, I think people are really interested. Uh, let's do ladies first. Ladies first. There she is. So first of all, like we talked about is uh, doing a name. So this is what her name means. So Melania Dark or Black, St. Melania freed thousands of slaves. Knaves, I don't know how to say her last name. That's her second name, Bold and Daring, and Trump sounds the clarion trumpets. So a saint that freed slaves from darkness is bold and daring to sound the clarion trumpet. So that's what her, her name means. So these are just some pictures that I put up of. Yeah. Yeah, she's gorgeous, eh? Like, <laughs> at least she's not wearing a shower uh, curtain dress. <laughs> Who was so that? He, well, Jill Biden. She just looks oh, like. Oh, I don't, I don't even I don't even bother watching what they do. <laughs> it's only just terrible. To me. Yeah. Uh, Benny Johnson always talks about her shower curtains and <laughs> dresses. Uh, so Melania, she's uh, here's how we add it up to 9 11. So, uh, heart chakra cooperation and balance, uh, brow chakra 20, 29. You know what 29 comes to? It comes to Diana, really? 29, mm -hmm. wow, yeah, comes to Diana. So, I'm not going to go through all of these, these are more her uh, going more in depth into numerology, somewhat a taste of it. And this is the hierarchy chart. She's from the blue ray of will, which comes down this way here. It's sort of Buddha. Trump comes down from the red ray. He's on this side. And their energies together come down. The gold ray of Christ consciousness is how their relationship comes in. So here I did um, a face split on her. So I took a picture of her and I cut it in half and I put two left sides together and two right sides. Now I yeah. do this in all my trainings and face reading day. We uh, see how balanced the left and right brain are. And she's pretty uh, symmetrical. Her, her face is very symmetrical. A little yeah. bit nose smaller on this side, but otherwise she's pretty balanced because we can see a lot that are out of balance and here's her hands you know it's hard to find some pictures sometimes i have to do screenshots of videos and stuff yeah. but what was profound here for me was this hand is quite a bit different than this hand so her left hand is quite square so practical down to earth and then the um, right hand is more intuitive because it's longer than it is wide so look at how square this one is. This is more uh, conical. But what's really sticking out is her little finger is quite far away from her uh, her ring finger, her ambition mm -hmm. finger. So she uh, doesn't like to communicate uh, really from the heart. She separates that from what the outer world is going to uh, get. She's not going to uh, show that part. So her communication from her heart. She mm. doesn't wear her. Uh, she doesn't wear her emotions on her sleeve. Put it that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> She's very contained, and this is the little finger is the Mercury finger, which is communication. So, which mm. is um, vivaciousness. Uh, this is uh, uh, diplomatic speech and quickness of speech in the digits when we're reading hands, right? So uh, this one, I'm not sure why I have this in here. More, more likely because of body language. She crosses her arms quite regularly, her left arm over her right arm. So that's emotionally, she kind of holds back her personality uh -huh. in, in body language. Whoops. These are her feet. And you can tell on... Her second toe is way longer than her uh, first, her big toe, which means she's her feelings are more important than her thoughts, and uh, and or she likes to be controlling in uh, 
in her relationships and her doing toll was at the same length, yet her uh, communication toll was pulled quite far back. And so same as the little toll. So we can read everything about a person's feet. And she does grip a bit, obviously, who wouldn't in high heels, but yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, these are all things you can, you know, it's so interesting to read people's bodies. Now, this is her galactic signature and the people that go into um, Telegram on the Lightworkers Institute. This is what you'll probably come up with. And then you're going to put in your birth date down below. There's a little slot for it. So then uh, it'll take you to a page once you've done that. I just, anyways, this is kind of her stuff. And I'm not going to go through all of this, all her archetypes. Oh, here I go into the quasars, and she's a the she's a super. It's not a quasar. What do you call it? A super something. I forget this. Anyways, that's uh, Trump and her energy together. She's a super. Super. What? Anyways, I won't go into that. That's another <laughs> whole thing. So here I just kind of brought out it's some a super. Of her... A super what? Ultra super, that's what it's called. Ultra super and, and uh, Trump is a quasar five. And so what's an ultra super then? Is that is that a, a higher than a quasar five or is it some no. another description? What is it? The uh, females, the inversion of a quasar is an ultra super female. And her sexual index is also low and she will be glad her mate is not constantly jumping on her and her quasar mate would be glad that she is not always asking for it. So we look at their sexual index as five. And this is, comes out of, I forget the name of the so guy. Quasars are a male and then ultras are women. Is that right? Right. Okay. And I mean, this is stuff that Jason Q has done. We've done a lot of this in the text book. It's called the text. And so, uh, I have this one all printed out, but we've talked a lot about this, about Trump being a Quasar 5, and so is um, Baron, and I think Eric, not Junior. So this is sort of comparing Melania, what she's wearing, almost the whole Tiffany blue here, and here she's wearing, uh, let me shrink this down, get rid of that. Here she's wearing the same scarf as Jackie Kennedy mm. and the same kind of outfits. And this is all what Juan O'Savin was talking about. Here she's wearing that uh, green jacket when she was going to the border to uh, see the cages. And it says, I really don't care. She was talking to the press, giving them a, 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 a signal. Here she's... Um, here she was wearing Egypt and she's wearing Michael Jackson outfit, same as Michael Jackson wore. Mm. Here she's uh, dressed like Lady Di. Yeah. When she went to see the Queen. I mean, these are interesting things. I mean, look at the coincidence. I mean, is that a coincidence? Yeah. And here they're, I think, at a funeral. <laughs> look at the Pope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trump, that's the biggest smile. And here is this was one of their the Republican convention or yeah. something. And um, she was in that green, uh, we call it the peppy dress. And then someone put out a meme with her <laughs> with the frog. Here she's wearing kind of I thought this was maybe blockchain coming in where she wore all these chains. And then here she's, uh, this was her last speech, wasn't it? Or before the election. And she's wearing like a military outfit almost, khaki. And here's the when she left the White House on the 20th of January. And in black. And then when she got off in her cube dress, which off the plane in uh, Florida. 
here she's wearing that cube dress. I compared it to the Joker up here and or how I also saw it was, um, I mean, that's the Joker card, right? That's mm, the, Trump, yeah, the yeah. Trump card too. And then I saw it as the, almost like the soccer ball. And uh, what's his name? Uh, Pompeo is wearing the tie that matches that soccer ball right when uh, Trump threw it, when Putin gave it soccer ball. And then uh, this is where he was, where in China or North Korea? North Korea. J uh, Jason Q talks about this one quite a bit. There's the gold uh, Buddha or something in the background. And then why is Melania taking the position in the middle? So mm. uh, it in these pictures, uh, you know, formally, it would be Trump in the middle, but why in Melania's in the middle? So these are just, you know, things that come up. And the Michael Jackson one's interesting because his birthday was August 29th. And that's the date of judgment day in Terminator 2. Um, oh, really? Uh, but August 29th in numbers comes to 261, which also comes to August 31st, 261. And that was the day of Diana's passing. Um, and also you asked about JFK. So JFK, November 22nd, November 22nd also comes to 261. And um, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, JR is 261. The Project Looking Glass is 261. Um, Mission Impossible Mask is 261. So it's a really important number for, for our side of the, you know, the White Hats. It's, it's, yeah, 261. So can, is, fancy that. August 31st, Diana goes. November 22nd, JFK goes, and they're both 261, which comes to Mission Impossible Mask, comes to the Project Looking Glass. And Michael Jackson, you know, he's got the queue on his Neverland estate and... To, you know, why is Diana, why is, why is Diana, why is Melania just as Michael Jackson? And his birthday yeah. is August 29th, which is also 261, which is Mission Impossible Mask. That was in Egypt, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was in Egypt that she was wearing that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're telling, they're telling people who, you know, they're telling people who's, who's yeah. who, where they might be, you know, what, what thing they're on. Yeah. Yeah. You want to do Trump quickly or? Yeah, let's do Trump. Yeah. It's like learning how to do everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just if anyone wants, I I give away a free ebook at the lightworkersinstitute.com. And this is, uh, I give like 30 pages of keeping your feet straight and a lot of key things in here if anyone's interested. Uh, let's see. Trump reading. And here I think I talked about this before. What he, The meaning of his name is Donald is world leader, graced yeah. by God, and then sounds the clarion trumpet. Um, this is Trump's face split. This is two left sides and two right sides together. Of course, his comb over is going to make it quite uh, prominent. But I think there's a lot more in Trump than what he's uh, letting out. His soul side is very, very strong. And people say he's got a big ego, but he doesn't. He's got a very small nose. And, uh, you know, a big nose is, is a lot more to do with a uh, big ego. So, and he very much uh, forms his words very precisely. With, uh, I think he's kept a tight lip on a lot of things. Mm. Yeah. And we're looking at in profile, he's got a lot in the base and the chin. I'll do it no matter what. He's got a little bit of a chick stick your neck out attitude you can tell in the in the chin part because it's more prominent than um, even his brow but his forehead slopes back so you can tell he's very observant so he's quick very quick-minded 
So someone that's right here, they, they stay in the present moment and don't give me all the details. What's the bottom line? Is that when the brow um, bone is more prominent than the other, the upper part of the forehead? It's in face reading. Uh, hand gestures. He's got very intuitive hands. He's got very large hands. But uh, his fingers are smaller than the palms of his hands. So that tells me he's very intuitive. So he uses his intuition. So here you can see it better in, in the palm of the hand. Very practical. Also mm -hmm. in smaller fingers. Palm beach. Yeah. And then, palm oh, palm. you... You remember we talked about his toes that you said something about a white pants and I, I think I cut yeah. them off. Yeah. Here again. Yeah. I was thinking, yeah, it is white, probably. But here again, his second toe is way longer than his first toe, also because his feelings are very important, but he also likes to be in control in relationships. These are all the hand gestures of Trump. So we can tell what he's saying, you know, uh, we will win, give me a break. You know, he does that, you know, <laughs> every one of these. I actually printed this off and when he's doing the speech, I'll actually go through this and see that he, his body language is very congruent with what he says. Yeah. And uh, so it is important to watch those things. And here, dress for success here. I, I fight for you. And he does that quite a bit, right? This is don't mess with me. And he's always, you know, this is huge. So he'll, you can tell when he does that. So his numbers, 314, what that means. I'm just going to skip through. And how he comes in, in our solar and planetary hierarchy. He comes down this red line, which is active intelligence. And he's very much in, like, Jesus comes from this, Jesus of Nazareth, I'm going to say. Mm. Oh. Trump's birthday is June 14th or 14th June or 14 6. So 1 4 6 is the trumpet. Truth social. So if you do it the English way, if you do 14th June, 1 4, and then the 6. Yeah. Spell that out as 146, which is the trumpet, which is truth social, the universe, uh, New I, Jerusalem, Ivanka Trump. Yeah. I can't add like you can. <laughs> I have to stop and think. So I just, yeah, put this in here, the swords. I think that was, oh, St. Germain, he worked with active intelligence. So I pulled this out, the divine alchemist with his white magic, the sword of light he carries. So I won't go, that's, you know, master stuff. Um, here's his galactic signature and he's an activation, uh, a galactic activation portal, which is so are you. And today is a activation uh, portal day. So where two, uh, there are 52 dark cells in the Zolkin, known as galactic activation portals. Okay. A portal means a gateway, an entrance to other dimensions. During the gap, they call these gap days, our planet receives higher frequencies and our awareness is amplified. A great opportunity for information exchange and multidimensional insights. So that's you today. Mm. And then here's the uh, Zolkan calendar. We went through some of that. Uh, yeah, this is his galactic signature. So I paint him mm. as a wizard. Gateway in numbers comes to 82, and portal comes to 82 in numbers. Oh, really? 82. Mm. And you said that's a money or 28? There's a abundance. 28, yeah, apparently. GG. Uh, 33 he says that the money number is 28 um yeah but you spelled 28 and it comes to 156 baron trump comes to 33 the word don is 33 magic 33 gate 33 so yeah it's all 
They're all connected. Well, that's his higher self, 11, the magician. So I kind of ended with, he pulls rabbits out of the hat. And, you know, going down the white, the rabbit, yeah. the, uh, the rabbit hole. And well, 11, so there's 91, Space Force, POTUS, Liberty, Future, 91. Yeah. Mm. Follow the White Rabbit is 233, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, POTUS. Hmm. Very interesting. Yeah. yeah so there's. Well, well, thanks, Carol. Yeah, yeah. that was. Food for thought. Was, and uh, uh, I will now have a read of the notes you gave me because I'll, uh, I'll put, I'll have a look at the Easter eggs that are in there. Yeah. There's a lot there, and once you do it, then get the app and just look at it every day and, and connect with those energies. You amaze how your life will change. What's the app again? Is it the 13th? 1320 Sync. S uh, Y N. Let me just see if I can. It's so easy to do that it's just. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Just, okay. Well, I don't know if you'd be. You'll, it's this. Uh, this one right here. Okay, cool. I'll find You'll see it. It looks like a yeah. Mayan calendar. And, okay. Uh, yeah. So that cool. was fun. Brilliant. I mean, yeah. Thank you. I mean, Thank that's you. a lot of information rattling off, and and uh, but you know, gives people a taste, and and uh, they can. I think I even in my files I've uploaded onto Telegram all the archetypes. They could yeah. just download that. And I would like everyone to get into their galactic signature and and really uh, take a direction with, you know, pick a path. And that's a beautiful path to pick. So. Well, the. Um, huh, that is interesting, actually. So if you do. Um, so April 56, light healing. 11th is 91, POTUS, future liberty. Space Force, but if you do April 11th, that's 147, which is um, magic frequency, uh, the trump card, and today's Thursday. So if you do Thursday on top of 147, it takes you to 263. 263 comes to um, interstellar. It. it comes to interstellar. Um, Tesseract, as a film that I use a lot for the dimensional stuff. And uh, it also comes to 263, comes to God Eternal Within the Body. So Greg Braden um, has written many books on it, but he talked, to, he talked about how the scientists have found that sentence in our DNA. And it always says God Eternal Within the Body 263, which is Thursday, April 11th, and 263. Uh, and Greg Braden's 88 in numbers comes to Trump 88, so that's interesting. Um, bloodline. I, o uh, I opened for Greg Braden in uh, Calgary at the uh, New Earth Expo. Did you? Yeah. What's he like? Yeah. Oh, he's great. He's yeah. We spent some time with him because uh, the one that owns the expo is a really, really good friend of mine, and the New Earth Expo. So we went out for dinner with him, and yeah, he was. He's really short. Is he? <laughs> yeah. And uh, nicest man, though. I mean, it's... Uh, it are you, st are you still in contact with him? Do you have contact with him still? No, but uh, Gail does. Gail Stown. My, uh, okay. Yeah, I can, if you need... Yeah, yeah I'd love to. Yeah, you will get him on. That'd be awesome. Because yeah. he's, he's someone that helped, with my understanding, way before 2020. So I read his book... Um, the Divine Matrix, Key to Miracles, I think, or Key to Manifest, the Divine Matrix, and there's, there's another subtitle to it. So I read that back in 20, 20, 2009 or 2008, so a good decade before 2020. Yeah, um, I, I yeah. read, no, not read his books, but I watched a lot of his probably VHS, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, uh, was, uh, uh Walking between the worlds, right? That's what it, back in the year two thousand. I was, uh, you know, I uploading it, so uh, yeah. I still remember that. I don't have the book, but uh, yeah, 
at one point i i don't think it was cds yet maybe i don't know eight tracks or whatever they right. were using them so yeah i'll them, get you uh worry. i'll i'll t i'll phone gail and get you uh his email perfect thank you i appreciate that that'd be awesome he's one i've wanted to to have on the show for a long time and 263 that's appropriate so 263 is today and it's uh you said portals would open today that manifestation would happen so there we go yeah thursday yeah. april uh, 11th 263 in the numbers comes to god eternal within the body 263 and it comes to interstellar tesseract 263 and i did all that today so there you go Thanks. there you go carol you said it was yeah. gonna be a special day and it is yeah so I'll get that to you by the weekend. So yeah, just uh, thank you. And I'll see if even you know Gail might do an introduction. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That sounds great. Well, thanks, Carol. It's been a pleasure as always, and uh, you've become a very quick favorite on my channel. So people love this <laughs> show, and um, we'll put your your link tree, and you've got all your links there. So tell people how how can they. How can they find you? We'll put the links yeah. there. Um, I'm yeah. just, I have the Lightworkers Institute in mm -hmm. uh, Costa Rica. This is the campus. My other web, that's my website, which is I'm in, the, I just hired someone to he's revamping the whole thing. Great. Yeah. Because I got a lot of online courses and stuff. And also uh, heaven and earth sanctuary.com is my retreat center. I have six houses in Costa Rica and uh, yeah. And AJ coming next month wish you'd come tom mm -hmm. but maybe you can bring a group down here who knows there's lots to maybe do. maybe yeah yeah. We'll open and, the oh, we'll get, get going. yeah and i'm on uh definitely uh telegram and yeah. i don't do much on facebook anymore i'm not even sure if i'm going to erase that one i'm on truth social try to load there and i'm learning twitter i never really used it so, and if anyone wants your body never lies guidebook, it and it, there's a little bit of a mini course once a week. You send out an email, just about keeping their feet straight and using your diaphragm. Using that, my true work is psychosomatic therapy. Mm -hmm. How to read the butt, face, the hands. The rest is add-ons, the higher levels that I'm giving you here. But hey, everyone, and what I challenge people to do is put in Tom's comments, put in uh, what, uh, if you find out your galactic signature, put it in the comments. That would mm. be great. Yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah, I mean, I'd love in to the know. Chat, people yeah. are watching now, and they'll see it in the chat. So, oh, yeah. right. That's, I keep forgetting yeah. you're on YouTube, because on yeah. uh, Rumble, you they don't keep the chat. You got to put it in yeah. the permanent comments. Put it in the comments, but put it in the put it in the comments and in the chat. So yeah, yeah. Um, then I can respond to them too. Yeah, yeah. When you said psychosomatics, it makes me think of the song Firestarter, Prodigy, psychosomatic. As you can see, that's one of the lines in the in yeah. the. Uh, anyway, uh, well, you're the site. You're the site club. So <laughs> I'm the site club. There you go. Psychosomatic, <laughs> as you can see. So yeah. brilliant. Well, thanks, Carol. It's okay. been amazing. Yeah, thank you. God bless. And I'll yeah. speak to you soon. Take For care. Sure. Thanks a lot. Bye.